You know, I know a lot of people bemoaned them moving this date early in the year to Atlanta Motor Speedway, but they're going to get they're going to get a blessing with some great weather here. And you know, early March in Atlanta, Georgia, you can get nice weather. And I think it, it, they can make their own new tradition here if they can get a break. With the it's early, but they had a solid effort at Daytona. They run well today, and again. We're really, really early. We've got to get a race in here on the 1.5-mile racetracks. But, Doug, if they have a good race Sunday, go out and back that up at Las Vegas, then you can kind of say, you know what, Roush Fenway Racing may be really on the way back because at one point they ruled these type racetracks, this size of racetrack. But you're right, Mark. We, we cautionary tale here because the team that, that had a, a really lackluster Daytona was Hendrick Motorsports. Their best car was finished 13th, and that was Casey Kane. Jimmy, I think, was 16th. And, uh, you know, way down the line was Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Chase Elliott. So rough time for Hendrick Motorsports coming out of Daytona. Yeah, and we're not about to throw too much dirt on, on them no. but, uh, one race into the season. The clock has started, so this last segment of today's qualifying is the Credit One Bank One to Go. Credit One Bank is the official credit card of NASCAR. Apply at creditonebank.com. About ready to roll out, and what a difference from the start of qualifying <laughs> to the lights are on here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Rob Albright. Yeah, it certainly is, and another big difference is Casey Kane, who was first out in each of the first two sessions, still sits in his pit stall. He's not even begun to roll. Kevin Harvick is the one that's getting up to speed, and he's right in front of Pat Patterson. Yes, he is, riding right up at the top of the racetrack, wants to get a good run off the hill here to come down and get that green flag. The lights are on. A big pile of blackbirds has fluttered off the back stretch here at Atlanta. Kevin Harvick on the gas in one. All the goody, as they say, off the tires, but the sun is down, so the track is cool. Kevin Harvick up just half a car width off the outside wall all the way through turns one and two. Not a better guy in that garage when it comes to sliding these tires just enough to keep all the speed you can get. Here comes Harvick, bottom of the racetrack, left front wheel, yellow line, now stands back up on the gas, back to the strike. First ever Sprint Cup victory came here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Harvick will be first on the scoreboard because he is first out, so we'll see how that stacks up against some of the other competitors as here comes Kurt Busch rolling out of turn number four. 189.779 miles per hour for Kevin Harvick for Kurt Busch. Will he be quicker? Answer yes. 191.582, considerably quicker for uh, Kurt Busch, and now here is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. across the stripe. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. finishes his qualifying lap, dives to the bottom of the racetrack. Martin Truex Jr. will roll out next, and he will uh, start another parade of these 12 cars still remaining. Behind him will be Ryan Newman's machine, so just two now on the racetrack. Looks like uh, it'll be Kurt Busch, Stenhouse, and Kevin Harvick. That's the way the first three will stack up here in the last segment of qualifying. Dramatic drop-off, Doug, from Kurt Busch down to Stenhouse and Harvick. 191.582 for Kurt Busch. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kevin Harvick, 189+. plus. Here is Mark Truex Jr., now on the racetrack, Furniture Row Toyota making his final qualifying run. And made his debut with Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota Equipment last weekend, finishing second by a foot at Daytona, right up against the outside wall off turn two. So he's using every inch of racetrack, Pat. Toyota running hard down the backstretch here. Now aims that Toyota. Bottom of three and four. Gets a little bit of a wiggle. Has to grab the wheel. Let's we'll see if that hurts him or not. Everybody's sliding out of that turn four down there. That is fun to watch. Let's see what Truex is able to do here on his lap as we wait for scoring and timing to catch up. Fourth fastest for Martin Truex Jr. And now it looks like Ryan Newman's going to put the 31 through its paces. Ryan Newman off the pace. He's just completed his qualifying lap as several others roll out. Carl Edwards comes off turn four. He's getting up to speed. He'll be preparing to take the green flag as Trevor Bain just completed his qualifying lap. So let's follow Edwards. Let's see what line he uses into turn one. Remember, he had to change tires between rounds one and two. Very smooth line. Very high line, similar to the one used earlier by Kurt Busch. Carl Edwards told me last week he wishes he could race six times at this racetrack. He likes it that much. Let's see what his car likes for this qualifying lap, bottom of the racetrack once again, stands right back up on the gas middle of the corner, and now off here is Carl Edwards, he's trying to capture the pole position by taking it away from Kurt Busch flashes across the start finish line Carl Edwards, was he quick enough answers no, he was sixth quick, Trevor Bain was the second quick, and here's Kyle Busch Bush's run is good enough to beat his older brother 191.668 Kyle Busch, currently number one with three drivers left to go and one minute.
could be an all bush front row here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And right now it looks like one of the last cars to qualify is going to be Brian Scott, the number 44 out of the Richard Petty Motorsports stable. Halfway down the back stretch, Pat Patterson. Brian Scott hoping to get a good spot here to start on uh, Sunday afternoon. Once again, working the bottom of the racetrack. Gets up into the middle groove just a bit with his yellow 44. Brian Scott, the big surprise in the opening two rounds of qualifying here in Atlanta. He comes across the start-finish line, and we'll have to see where that will put him currently. It looks like in the 10th position as Austin Dillon now comes across the stripe in the RCR machine. Dillon up to the ninth spot, and only Casey Kane is left to clock in. And Casey Kane on cue comes out of turn number four in that Panasonic sponsored number five, and let's see what Casey Kane is able to do. Can he push Kyle Busch off of the pole position here at Atlanta Motor Speedway? And it looks like the answer is going to be no. Casey Kane will be 12th fastest here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and Kyle Busch wins the pole here today. Kurt Busch will start on row one with his brother. And of course, the last segment of today's qualifying is the Credit One Bank One to Go segment. Credit One Bank is the official credit card of NASCAR. Apply at creditonebank.com. This is how close it was. Uh, Kyle Busch captures the pole 28.925, beats his brother Kurt Busch 28.938. So it looks to me like that is what, doing my math, 13 hundredths of a second. Let's go to Brad Gilly.